Cersei. Boulder Frey. The Mountain. Marin Trunk. Cersei. Boulder Frey. The Mountain. Marin Trunk. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Boom Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today I'm here with Game of Thrones uh, Volume 2 of the Honest Trailer. Um, yeah, I watched the first one. My reaction is up to that. Y'all can catch that somewhere on YouTube and on Patreon if you're there. Um, but yeah, let's see what Volume 2 has for us. Love these. These are always so funny, no matter what show or movie they do. The following contains spoilers for Seasons 4 and 5 of Game of Thrones. I was supposed to do this at the end of 5, but I waited. Previously on the Game of Thrones Honest Trailer. Where are my dragons? Ah! Beams. From the network whose content you love, thanks to someone else's HBO Go password, comes two more seasons of the show that used violence and beams to trick non nerds into liking fantasy. Game of Thrones. Time for. Honest trailers, Game of Thrones. <laughs> How is the song so good? <laughs> Return to TV's most expensive looking Renaissance fair, where the grounded realism of the first three seasons has slowly given way to crazy heavy metal album art. Return to the bandwagon show that everyone loves now, even though it constantly makes you want to kill yourself. As they keep introducing new and exciting characters to root for, then it makes me want to fight for real, real. to kill them off. It's like The Walking Dead if they still had any balls. King Justin Bieber is finally gone. I mean, now a new smirking little sh will take his place as the Walking fictional Dead character so much love dead. And since this worked so well, when I said it last time, God, if he doesn't die this season. I'm gonna fucking kill him myself. He's Literally, like invincible Joffrey, piece of shit. He but gotta get off the, the streets. That are left alive. All the unforgettable heroes who made it through the first three seasons are back. Plus, all those side characters whose names you're still trying to remember. Mm. I don't even remember the faces at this point. Plus, a bunch of new people. Plus, even the swords have names now. They say the best. It's too the much. Oathkeeper. Who knows where? I like that. Finds needle. Man, even the inanimate objects have names. Speaking of which, we all remember Jon Snow, right? Catch up with the man who still knows nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Watch as his wisdom, bravery, and honor finally gets rewarded in the typical Game of Thrones way. <coughs> but he's not the only fan favorite that the show will probably mark for death just despite us. Tyrion Lannister returns, and Peter Dinklage takes his acting to new heights in speeches that won him an Emmy. I did he really? Joffrey, but I, I mean, how y'all didn't tell me that? Y'all might some speeches they definitely off his Emmy. He deserves that. <laughs> then there's Daenerys Targaryen. She's got an army, ships, a good friend, and some dragons. Now it's finally time for her to stay where she is. I will not sail for Westeros. Seriously? I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Great. Again, can we just fast forward to that part? We she gotta get the, her house in order. Full of disturbing stuff. Double down on its own brutality. Featuring. But some of these people deserve alive, it. He did. Eating people alive. Burning children alive while their oh. parents watch. Forced sex between siblings next to the corpse of their dead son. And being sexually assaulted by the bastard of the man who killed your family. Ooh, we just went on a, a, a run of sick shit that I tried to, to forget. Watch. Jeez, where do they go from here? You know what? Don't answer that. Please. So get ready for another three seasons of must-see television full of amazing battles, shocking twists, and stuff you just kind of sit through and wait to be over. <coughs> Door. <coughs> because sooner or later, you know you're going to get some beams. They do love to show the nips. <laughs> Shame. I don't want to see these boobs. These boobs are too wrapped up in character development. This used to be fun. Well, at least the boobs can't get worse than this, right? Uh, oh, oh, I was so wrong. Oh, my eyes. They burned. I Go forgot about starring. this. Go to starring. Starring. Cruelty. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's the main character of this show. The 
No, they probably have less animal cruelty than The Walking Dead does. The Walking Dead don't give a fuck about your horse. Slaps. I low key really love the slaps. Nuts. I rolls. Accent. We suppose all of our ancestors came from somewhere else, Little Finger's other accent. You're right. He wasn't involved in Joffrey's death. Dogs. Uh, yeah, they be catching me off guard with that shit. But. <laughs> Not the cheeks. Stannis brooding in a dark room. Literally. Stannis was so depressed. He needed help. Shay being called a whore. She's the whore I told you about. She was a whore. You're a whore! I was his whore. I can't be in love with a whore. His whore. I can't have children with a whore. I am a whore. And the Lannister family's drinking problem. <laughs> you already dragged yourself across the narrow sea. Drink more than you used to. Yes. There are faster ways to That's do like it. the only thing him and Cersei got in common. Father is They love Shay. their wine. Can I drink myself to death from the road to Marine? Mm. Give him some water. Clash of Clans. TV fans think they know as much as the book fans because they're all caught up now. <laughs> so adorable. Tell me about the Andal Invasion, Dance of Dragons, and all five Blackfire Rebellions. Then we'll talk. Dance of Dragons. Why is that a dance? Be sure to subscribe for more on the stream. Lord, though, they be informative. Hey, screen junkies, need a shoulder to cry on after each brutal episode of Game of Thrones? Then join Honest Trailers writer Spencer Gilbert and the rest of House Screen Junkies every month. Be in Pacific for watch. That one was good, y'all. Um, uh, the stuff they come up with, they're so creative, and literally, the cruelty and violence and death is literally the star of the show, y'all. This shit makes me so sick. It, it, it's it's easier to take when you already know what's gonna happen, but it still hurts. It still stings, especially for me because I'm an emotional reactor. I'm like invested in these people, so. But it it's they took a lighter take on it, so it made it a bit more enjoyable to see it a second time. But um, I literally try not to look back on those horrible moments. I literally block out so much shit. Like I forgot we saw uh, old booty Melisandre. I forgot all about that. And yeah, there is a lot of nudity. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they, they be catching you off guard. In the middle of my conversations, they're going to throw some cheeks or some boobs or some dongs. They're going to throw a little bit of everything up in there. Apparently, there's somebody out there that sells dicks too. So they just do all types of stuff. George R. R. Martin. I don't know where he found this stuff in our history. <laughs> but he put it into a book and blended it all together. And he made a hell of a story. I'll give him that. Um, but yeah, I didn't know people didn't like the, the Dorn story. I, I'm in rooting for the Dorn folks. I, I, they, they Cersei enemy, so they're my, you know, they're my friends. So I'm cool with that. Um, uh, but yeah, I got some other things to watch y'all. So thank you guys for watching. Of course, I want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for more Game of Thrones.